Hey, hey guys, Brian Parnell here. Hope you're well. It's Sunday morning. I have my little boy here, Riley, doing his homework. He might go and watch the telly in a minute. Um, but I just, uh, I've had a couple of questions overnight. Well, not one question last night, and then I think one question in the week um, from somebody asking, What is a Facebook dark post? So I thought I would, while he sit here and here nicely and quiet doing his homework the other one, other son's off doing his swimming i will quickly show you what a facebook dark post is now um with that being said i need to do this quick because somebody said oh, i had a couple of people say that my last video was too long but they really enjoyed it and you know thanks for all the google analytics tips that i provided and um, they can really see where they're falling down with their seo so if that was too long i'm going to just belt through this as quickly as i can you, you want to go and sit down and watch telly? You can, darling. I can, yeah. No, you can stay there, are you? Okay, good boy. Right then, so um, essentially a dark post is actually called an unpublished post in Facebook. And what it means is that you can produce a post, and basically an advertorial, okay? So it's a post within newsfeed that does not get posted to your Facebook fan page. And the reason for that is that you could be doing lots and lots of split testing and you wanted to create, say, 10 nearly identical posts, but you want to use different um, different images or different landing pages, whatever it is. OK, then you would use these different uh, these different posts, newsfeed posts. And, and essentially, that's all it is. It's called an unpublished post in Facebook. Now, I like to use the power editor. So I'm going to go over to, so I'm actually in Facebook um, Ads Manager. And to get there, you just click on the, you know, the little down arrow here and you can, you know, click on Manage Ads. And then you come to, come to this actual page just here. Okay. Now, Power Editor can only use in Google Chrome. Okay. So we're waiting for it to open up. And it's going to say, then you've actually got to actually download it. So you click on Download. And then once it's downloaded, you can go in and edit it or create that, create a actual post. So I'm just going to create a pretend post. Okay. So you go to um, bum, 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 add campaign. I'm just going to call it test for subscribers okay this is only to show you quickly what a dark post is okay um, auction I always keep it on auction website clicks page post engagement depending on what it is that you actually are after depends on what you you know you want to be choosing here if it's an informational type product that you are selling then I would always say clicks to website okay um, but for this instance, we're going to choose page post engagement. Click on create. Then we want to go over to just to here. Make sure that's highlighted over on the left hand side. So I just do recently changes and then we want to click on to add sets. OK, and then we want to add an ad set. We just want to make sure that test for subscribers is here. You've said hello. Have you not said hello? No. Oh, come here then. Do you want to say hello? Sorry, Riley wants to say hello, everybody. Say hello. Hello. Do you want to wave? Wave to the camera just there. Hello. Good boy. <laughs> you can sit down now. Be quiet, okay? Good boy. Um, the joy of kids, okay? And then test for subscribers. And I'm just going to click on to create. Oh, down here we want to do that. Sorry. In new name, ad name, new ad set. So I'm just going to put test for here. Just click on create. Obviously, you would be a little bit more specific about what you're calling your thing, so you can uh, you know what they are. And then come down to here, and you've got all your you know your audiences and all that kind of stuff, and where you want your placements. Always, this is something that I do personally. Okay, um, I will do desktop newsfeed as one ad set. And then the second ad set, I will do mobile newsfeed. OK, and then sometimes I will test the right hand side. OK, 
and then that one's done. Um, they have changed this just a little bit, so um, that's that one. You can go upstairs quickly, darling. Yeah, yeah. And then click on to ads. Make sure that that one is still highlighted. This recently changed test for subscribers. Click on to add. That's the one ad set that we want to use. We want to use the existing one, which is test that we just set up. And I'm just going to put test in there again, as you can probably imagine. OK, and then just here you want to choose the page. So I want to choose my Brian Parnell marketing one. I'm going to make this a bit bigger, make that smaller. And then what we want to do is click on to create an ad. And just here somewhere. See, it bloody it should here say here somewhere use an existing post. Well, I don't want to use an existing post, but you can go in and actually choose an old post that you've already created. Okay, high pages connected to business accounts. That's not what I'm after. It's actually a bloody um. See, so they've changed. See, so they have changed it because there was a little thing here that said unpublished post. Um, optimization of pricing. It's not going to say anything yet. Let's um the ad. So you put your you know your um your headline. Um, I'm going to put test headline for ad. Select an image. Right, I'm just going to let's just choose this one here. Select. And then over here, normally it comes up and shows you what it's doing. Okay. So it tells you where your headline is, just there. Okay. Objective, boost your post, which is what I'm trying to do. These are your optional URL tags. So if you've got, um, uh, if you can have, basically they're tracking links, okay? And they then send the information through whatever it is that you're doing. So if you were selling a, uh, let's say a JVZoo product, you could put your tags onto here and so the tag would be, because this is how JVZoo's tags work, so I'm just going to show you. You'd be TID equals Facebook ad one, okay? Facebook ad two, Facebook ad. So when, when sales are made, you know exactly what is getting, you know, what, what's, what ads are working and what ads aren't, okay? Click on to ad set, edit audience. Here we go. I've edited that he hadn't edited it and put the audience in. So, um, uh, you know, I, I would use, um, I usually use United States because it's got the bigger market, see what's working, what's not working, and then um, roll it out. Okay. 24. That's just something that I, I personally do. Interests. And then interests, um, I'm not, you know, this isn't a, you know, how to find interests video for you. I just wanted to show you how to create an unpublished post. Um, then you come into here, you can select interests. Let's just say um, JV Zoo. I don't know if JV Zoo is even going to be in here. Um, let's say Warrior Forum. It's not even in there. Um, uh, let's say Frank Kern, just because I know Frank Kern's in here because I have targeted him. Yes, yeah, so if there was something that, you know, specific around, you know, yeah, yeah, it comes up with Ryan Dice, Avon Pagan, Michael Same. Um, I think it does come up with Tony Robbins. So, you know, Ed Dale, Anik Singal, Trey Smith, uh, so on and so forth. Right. So you can now see the size of your potential reach of your audience. So there, you know, should be majority of people should be liking Internet marketing and, you know, revolved around marketing. OK. However, these, you know, most of these people are, I would suggest maybe too famous to market to but anyway that's just you know just something to show you gone to uh, save post engagement yeah that's what we want 
So it looks like um, because I've just created this ad and I've done it through Power Editor, it should be an unpublished post. So, um, so on so on. Um, right. I'm going to just see click on upload changes and, and see if it's actually if it goes to my you know goes to my page be. or not. Um, so there used to be a little uh, um, doobry here. Now I haven't. I would admit that it's, I can't remember. Maybe a month since I last did some unpublished posts because I just post do a post on Facebook and then and then boost it and then promote it via via here. So um, not sure how long it's been, but it used to be a little thing that here that says create unpublished post. So I think now you just click on create ad. Uh, I've just literally paused the video and gone over to here and it said, you know, you just create your ad, um, upload your changes, and then that is your unpublished post. So let's let's just test it out. Click on continue, uploading changes, and then let's go to the uh, my Facebook page, which is um, Brian Parnell Marketing, is it? Yeah. And then hopefully... Yes, there you go. So it has not uploaded that to my Facebook page. Okay, so that's the ad. It's all uploaded. So now let's go to here. Let's click on refresh. And it's not posted it to my page. So apologies about the confusion there because there used to be that little thing here that said create an unpublished post, creating an unpublished post. Um, so then you, you know, really, darling. Guys, that's darling. That's because I just said I was just talking to Riley. Um, and you know, that's it. All right. So that's how you create your unpublished posts. All right, guys. Take care. And that's what an unpublished post is. All right. Cheers for now. Bye bye.